How to store SSH keys? I've started using SSH keys instead of passwords just recently, thanks to GitHub, of course, so please keep in mind that I'm pretty new to this whole concept. Currently my keys simply lie under slash dot SSH, but I'm not sure if this is a good practice. For example if I have multiple machines, I need to duplicate my private keys, which I think is undesirable. Or, if my HDD goes kaput, then I'll lose those keys, which, I guess, is undesirable as well. So, what are best practices on storing SSH keys securely, conveniently, and reliably? Seems like using a smart card is an option, see smart cards for storing GPG slash SSH keys, Linux, what do I need? Is this the best one? Update, the reason for the question was that many services, like GitHub, AWS Ec2, provide guides on how to set up SSH keys for using the service, but little to no background, like, what to do if you already have a key generated by SSH keygen, 1, what are recommended security measures, and it's unclear whether that info is in fact unimportant, or you're expected to know it by default. To sum up answers up to this point, but please read them, and if you have something to add, please do, seems like in this case it's fine if you just leave your private keys in slash dot ssh, as long as you keep them from other people, but make sure that you have another way to access the service to upload or generate a new key if you lose one, which is normally the case. 1. GitHub used to provide help on how to manage multiple keys. For example if I have multiple machines, I'd need to duplicate private keys, which I think is undesirable. No, actually you don't. If you have multiple machines, you just create a separate private key on each one. For each private key, just upload the corresponding public key to GitHub using the same process. Also, if my HTD go kaput, I'll lose my private key, which, I guess, is undesirable as well. Not really, if you lose your private key, just generate a new one and upload the corresponding public key. For what it's worth, you're right that duplicating a private key is highly undesirable. Ideally, a private key should be generated in one file, .sshi.d underscore rsa, for example, and should never leave that file, that is, it should never be copied, moved, and especially not transferred over a network. For example I exclude them from backups, because of the nature of asymmetric authentication protocols, you only need to worry about keeping your private key out of the hands of others. If you go a bit overboard and you lose track of it yourself, it's generally not a big deal. This is not to be confused with asymmetric encryption private keys, for example GPG keys, which you probably want to hold on to. There is a very nice tool named KeyPass2, this URL, with the extension, this URL. You can store their passwords, SSH keys, and a lot more on the official KeyPass page are a lot more useful extensions if you want to log in automatically with your SSH keys, you just need to install Putty, Pageant and KeyPass with Kagent. If you are configuring it correctly you don't have to set up the keys in Putty, Pageant or FileZilla. I use it myself and I'm pretty happy about it. I have over 30 VPS and root server with a certain amount of different SSH keys and the only thing I have to do is to open key pass it's not my primary password safe, and then I just need to type in the console my passphrase. I would add that slash dot ssh slash is readable by your browser if you are using the same user account to run both. Try it. Point your browser to your private key in your home directory. It's fun. So I would recommend storing ssh keys in the home directory of another user account. A word on passphrase protecting keys.
These days, cracking non-randomized passwords is super fast. Check out Hashcat. Though random and long 12 plus char passwords still take reasonably long to brute force. So ICE encrypted SSH keys are uncrackable for the foreseeable future as long as you use good long passphrases. See GitHub recommendations. So some website can guess grab your key without JavaScript. And then brute force the key offline. And browsers can look into your clipboard with J's too. So copy pasting very long passphrases also puts you at risk from the more sophisticated JavaScript attacks. Look underscore at underscore keys dot html. I would recommend storing private keys. Offline, not in the cloud. In more than one place. Apart from anything it's related to, for example a key for your encrypted data, store it in a separate place from the data. I'd say, the best place would be. An external hard drive. A flash key. A computer not plugged into the internet. Even better, just print it out, and put it in a fireproof safe. If you want a super great channel, please consider subscribing.